Okay. Uh, this is our custom check valve called the debt flag. We sell these on eBay as well. Now, because Brown's gas is an implosion, Brown's gas is an implosion. Now the valve is set to allow gas to flow only in this direction, right? So when there's a detonation of Brown's gas um, in this section of tube, right, it causes a vacuum and that actually pulls the valve shut. You need this space in between here. You need to have uh, this distance between the arrestor and the valve. And you could put this further down the line too. Um, a check valve on this side will not work to stop a sustained flame because, and this is where I really want everyone to follow me, when a sustained flame exists in here it creates a vacuum or an implosion that wants to create a vacuum inside of here okay and now you think that okay that'll quench the gas but instead what happens is the resulting implosion inside of the arrestor wants to suck more gas from the system okay and you will actually get an even greater flow of gas through there that even further feeds the sustained flame so if you put a check valve on this end you still have to have it facing the same direction but now that the implosion is inside of here it opens a check valve even more so check valves on this side do not perform the same function as a check valve on this side a lot of times also um, the uh, the backflow of gas will actually push the valve shut now if it gets past the valve then the detonation inside of here because it's an implosion will suck the valve shut so no matter what happens on this side the valve will shut because of the implosion but on this side once you have an implosion all bets are off that's why it's so difficult to put it out uh, conventionally now it will work without the check valve but you run the risk of getting a sustained flame in here and that's what just eats that just eats everything up in the system alright it will work just with an open end okay but you can't see it on camera but in real life when you're holding this thing and a sustained flame is caught in there you can hear it I'm going to see if you can actually hear that. Listen. You hear it? That was a sustained flame momentarily existing in there. That'll happen with pretty much any flashback arrestor you buy. Um, so if you have another flashback arrestor and you want to use a check valve, it'll help that flashback arrestor as well. So you can use these. You can, but they don't last as long as this one. And you get uh, replacement diaphragms for that valve. I just have a few more details on this valve also. We have an engraved arrow on the surface of the um, hose barb that indicates the direction of gas flow. So just to avoid any confusion. We were going to put a nice label on it like we do with our flashback arresters, but uh, it's kind of small and it takes a lot of time in it. And then you wouldn't be able to open it up and put the uh, new diaphragms in. So we just left it at this. And... You know, we just engrave a little arrow on there. Then it takes about a minute to do. Uh, I'm going to crack it open so you can see the construction of this thing. It's a really simple device. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's just one of these diaphragms, which is just a little circle piece of rubber that we cut um, to that size and it just floats back and forth. But uh, we're going to open it up and let you see it. All right, I'm going to show you how you would replace the diaphragm inside of the check valve. If you're getting flashbacks 20 times a day, um, then, you know, you might have to change the diaphragm, you know, once every couple weeks or so. But to be honest with you, um, I've been using the same diaphragm in this one for about a month now, and... I haven't had to change it yet, and I, I flashback this thing all the time. Um, there's a few hundred flashbacks on the diaphragm that's in there. So if you want to change it, it's pretty simple. I mean, all you do is 
you know, you get two wrenches, alright, and you just turn them counterclockwise, okay? Alright, now I'm going to use the ratchet side of this thing. It's a lot easier that way. Right? And that's it. There's your diaphragm hiding out in there. Alright. See it's in pretty good condition. There's a little uh see there's a little spot on this side where it got burned away a little. Um, but surprisingly enough, these things they will last inside of the flashback. It's really strange but it has to do with the burn temperature of Brown's gas. I mean here we just have a, a washer. We glue a washer in there with uh, high temperature high strength epoxy and that just about that's about it. I mean if you wanted to make your own these aren't that hard to make. We make them for you. I mean that's the guts of it so now you got your old here's your old diaphragm all right just put in a new one like that. Clamp on the other end. Okay, and you're good to go. Okay, that's it. Now the diaphragms that you'll get with the thing will actually have a little, little flat side on them. Okay. And that's basically just so, that's basically the, the feature that makes them a one-way, um, that makes the valve function in only one direction, really. So let me put one of these new ones in there. I just remembered that. Um, see? Now if I blow through it, you get gas flow, but if I inhale, nothing. I mean, it's that simple, really. These work on the same sort of principle, but I uh, had a few hundred flashbacks on this one, and it's toast already. Just burn the diaphragm right out. And this is a Viton diaphragm, so, you know, we're using Bunna N. Uh, we make these little guys ourselves. We just cut them out in the circles. It's really not a high-tech operation. <laughs> and if you want to make one of these yourselves, it is not difficult. It's just a male and female barb. Of course we put an engraving thing on there. We set the glue for the the um the washer. And you know, it, it, believe it or not, it takes a lot of trial and error before one of these things will actually last. So if you want to experiment you can, but that's what we do, you know. Oh one other thing too, right? These things will work ten times better if they're wet. Okay? So it does help to just run it under water for a second and uh, and then just blow through it a little bit and that'll get the diaphragm wet. It's not absolutely critical but it um, most of the time when they're wet the flashback won't even get past the valve. So you know just FYI these things work great when they're wet. So that's it the dead flag.